Hi and welcome to the Cigar Area. I'm Mike Simmons and tonight I'm going to be smoking The Pope of Greenwich Village by Drew Estate. But before I do that, I have a question for you. Guess how many people have entered my contest for this month on my website, thecigarearea.com. Just guess. It'll blow your mind. Zero. Nobody. You guys are watching the reviews. I talk about the website all the time. All you got to do is go on there, send me an email, click on the link. You're entered in the contest. This month, $20 gift card to an online cigar shop. Who doesn't want $20 worth of cigars for free? I know I do. And guess what? Nobody enters. Nobody wins. Guess who gets the $20 worth of cigars? Me. So, do yourself a favor. Go to thecigarearea.com. Enter the contest. Send me an email. Do it now. No, don't do it now. Do it after you're done watching this. 6x40. Panatella size. Absolutely gorgeous, flawless San Andreas Maduro wrapper. It smells like a pile of freshly mown hay. It's just, uh, it's just earthy and wonderful. Inside, Connecticut stalk cut Habano binder, Brazilian Matafina, and Nicaraguan fillers. This is promising to be a beauty. So, without further ado, I'm going to cut it and start smoking it. This is a uh, step aside for me from what I normally smoke. Uh, I'm very happy smoking larger ring gauge, usually 50s to 60 ring gauge, but Panatella once in a while, especially from Drew Estate, I'm in. Mmm. First puff, powerful. Mm, there's some spice. There's some coffee. Not a lot of spice. Just a little tangy spice on the start. Coffee. Sweet cocoa-y. Almost like a chocolate finish. Even a little leather in there. Wow, what a flavor bomb right off the bat. I'm getting four different distinct flavors from this. Mild spice, chocolate, coffee, leather. I'm going to enjoy my way through the first third of this. I'll be back. Welcome back to the cigar area with the Pope of Greenwich Village. I'm about 15 minutes in, the first third here. Burn is almost perfect. Got a good inch of ash on there, but I'm feeling I'm gonna lose it soon, so I'm gonna tap it off just so it doesn't end up in my lap. Flavor-wise, nice cocoa flavor, uh, white peppery spice, mild but it's noticeable a little bit of coffee a little bit of cedar sort of a little nutty flavor on the finish as I'm getting into the to the second portion here uh, this is a part of a micro blend series from smoke in cigar shop uh, in collaboration with Drew Estate, uh, I understand Willie Herrera 
master blender of Drew Estate had a hand in creating this cigar and it, it shows. It's just a nice, nice fine flavor from the from the start of the draw to the to the finish. And the pepper really comes out on the retro hail. Uh, as you know, I'm big on the retro hail, and that's one of the reasons why is is it brings that extra bit of your senses in. Allowing your nose to accompany your tongue in, in tasting these, these nuances in the cigar. So I'm going to work my way into the middle here, second, third, as it were, and uh, I'll be back. Okay, welcome back to the cigar area. <clears throat> I'm about 45 minutes into the Pope of Greenwich Village. Just lost the second round of ash, burned for about a, another good inch before it fell off. Uh, burn still pretty straight. Flavor wise, it's been consistent. Got that white pepper spice to it. Cocoa, good strong cocoa flavor. Pretty much overpowers the, the coffee's kind of faded off. And the cocoa's pretty much taken over. Still a, a slight touch of nuttiness to it. Uh, all in all, it's just, just burning nicely. Tons of beautiful smoke. Uh, nice flavors. So far, so good. I wanted to... Uh, mention, I... I know a lot of a lot of guys pair cigars with with different whiskeys or beers or bourbons or things like that. Well, I generally pair my cigars with coffee. Uh, I like coffee. I'm enjoying a nice uh, espresso blend right now, along with a cigar. Very nice pairing. Uh, really. Uh, uh, it's, it's a flavor blend that, that complements the cigar, complements the coffee, the coffee complements the cigar. It's a, a nice combination. So if you're uh, into pairing your cigars with different beverages, I would suggest a, a nice cup of uh, uh, stronger coffee to go along with this. It tastes very nice. Okay, I'm going to take it into the final third, see what progresses be back. Okay, welcome back to the cigar area with the Drew Estate slash Smoke Inn Pope of Greenwich Village. Well into the final third, almost down to the band. You can see how that ash is hanging on again for another good inch. Uh, going to take the band off. <clears throat> Flavor-wise, Profile stayed much the same. The uh, cocoa flavor dominates. A little bit of cedar, a little bit of nuttiness, and a nice white pepper spice. Just remained constant through the cigar. Band came off nicely. Nice uh, sticky glue on there. Peeled right off. Very nice add to my collection. All in all, I'm going to give the Pope of Greenwich Village a 6x40 Panatella, 10 out of 10. This is a delicious cigar from start to finish. Uh, as I said, cocoa, spice, a little cedar, a little nuttiness. Great cigar. Paired with a cup of coffee. It's fantastic. Can't say enough about it. I'm Mike Simmons. This is The Cigar Area. Thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please check out my website, thecigarareria.com. Enter the contest 
for crying out loud. Just send me an email and enter. You got nothing to lose. You got a gift card to win. Drawings February 1st. So get in on it. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Happy smoking. Darker fish cleave creamy seas and all I'm left with is a breeze. Doesn't even reach my knees. There's too much in this world for freedom.